Hello and hello and welcome to Watch Me Eat, a show about eating. I'm your host, me. Today we have an episode about this. It's this. Something like Hungry Man Grilled Bourbon Steak Strips. Beef steak strips in a bourbon sauce with herb rice and green beans. Simply cook and serve. Hungry Man, it's good to be full. One pound of food. The sad part about this is that I had a milkshake last night that has twice as many calories as this. It's the Hungry Man steak strips and whatever. Oh. This actually, um, it actually smells good. Not prepared. And it's drip all over the fucking place. Anyway, later in the day, he eventually removed the wrapper and proceeded to eat. Green beans. It's almost like they responsibly took green beans and put them in, in the freezer before they canned them. And then shipped them and put them in another box and all these things before they went bad. Really strange. They don't even taste like vinegar or nothing. They taste like green beans. I mean, don't get me wrong now, they're not out the garden or nothing. They're certainly not fresh out the field, freshly snapped by grandma. It's nothing like that. But... I'm saying, hey, you know what? They taste fresher than canned green beans. That's my speech about green beans. Herb, herb rice. Mwah. Hang on. This box has two grams of salt in it. It's because of the herb rice. Tastes exactly like stovetop stuffing if you coated it with salt. It's interesting. It's not rice. It's stovetop stuffing. With stovetop. Stovetop stuffing. With salt added. And gravy. And the gravy's sweet. It's, oh man. It thought of everything. They got fucking scientists up in this little bitch. They got a little corporate kitchen. Oh guys, let's make some sticks. We're going to make some steaks and some, some herbal rice. I'm going to put green beans near it. That's not bad. Here's what's going to happen. Right here. This is what happened. This is just a fucking box of surprises, man. That's actually really nice. I can't believe this. There hasn't been a tough piece, a stringy piece, a bone, anything hard or hard. Difficult to chew. It's not ground up. And this shit is in a bed of rice with gravy. These cheating bastards know the importance of sweet rice in a daily diet. Mixing it up a bit here. Make sure all the meat's wet. Very important to have your meat be wet. But it's like, you can taste the bourbon. I mean, it's not going to give you the, the southern comfort vomits or nothing, but something. It tastes grilled. They're definitely strips. It's steaky and it's not livery. It doesn't taste cheap. This is actually an honestly labeled box. I mean, you know, it's perfect if something like this could happen. I mean, it's... I mean, you know, it could be leavens for all I don't know. It's pretty epic, though. I do like it. It's got its own juice, so... And then... Rice, spice it up a bit, right? Doing like the stovetop steak strips. It's almost like they figured out how to put these respective foods into a TV dinner. Cut the steak small, it makes sense. Fill the rice with salt. It will last forever. Salted rice will also help preserve and soften the meats. And the green beans will have their own thing. 
and they will come. Partially fresh. Ne'er to be canned. Living a life of freshness and fucking beendom. I'm no longer perturbed about waiting 40 minutes to eat this. It seemed like a bit of a commitment just for, you know, a black tray. The last time I ate a TV dinner, it was Salisbury steak. I let this thaw out in the car yesterday. Pretty much entirely. You can't tell. Hungry man. What have you done? This is a shockingly decent lunch. Other than the salt, this is actually... I would actually qualify this as human fuel. This food has been approved for public consumption once you rinse off all that salt. Good luck with that. Thank you for watching me to show about the hungry man sour great still what's it called? Thank you for watching me to show about um, grilled bourbon steak strips in bourbon sauce with herb rice and green beans. <laughs> what a pleasant surprise. An escaped green bean has been captured. Ah, oh, it was good times.